Hi guys and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. What you see in the vise is Howard Crossland's kickback cormorant. So without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H260 barbless hook. This one's on size 10. It's finished on a heavy wire in black nickel. Now the thread I'm going to be starting with is from Simplify. It's a classic wax thread. It's 6O. As you can see, it's a fluorescent green. Now the first thing I want to do is get a little bit of wax onto my thread and I'm going to start just at the bend of the hook here. And what I want to do is create a small lump of thread. Now for those of you that are unaware who Howard Croston is, he's a double world champion uh, based in the north of England and he's always thinking about fishing. He's a, he's a man obsessed, I think it's fair to say, and he comes up with some fantastic ideas. And I've seen this and I have asked his permission if I could do a tutorial and he kindly agreed. So what I've done is probably a little bit different from how Howard has tied it, but I've created a small bump of thread at the back here. I've kept my rat's tail, I'm going to need that. Now the bead I've put on is a, is a brass bead from Hanak. It's a uh, 2.5 millimeters and what I've done is I've put the bead on the hook back to front so the countersunk ends here and the, the less bumpy ends at this side. So the next thing I want to do then is add a small touch of super glue to the bump on my hook. That's going to help keep the bead in place but I've got another way of doing it as well. So I'm going to push that over the bump of thread and the next thing I want to do is bring my rat's tail over the shank of the hook and then bring my thread again over the bead you need about five hands for this section but if it moves just push the bead back into position mine has moved slightly I'm just going to ease it back with my thumb and forefinger and then I'm going to capture that in place. So I've trapped the bead in twofold. I've got it super glued in and I've also got two strands of thread just to hold it in place and hopefully that will keep it from moving up and down the shank of the hook. So I'm going to finish up by getting a bed of thread down onto the shank. Then I can come in with my scissors and just remove that. Next thing I want to do is add a wire rib and I'm using Simplify's hot green. This is 0.2 millimeters. I've already got a piece here that I have been working with. I'm going to dress that up to the shank of the hook and trap that into place. Now, I've not actually fished this fly, but I have seen a short video of Howard explaining the principle behind fishing it. So what he said, and he's quite right, is when you're pulling a cormorant, um, the fly shoots forward, but if you put the bead on the front, it doesn't fall back like it should. The philosophy behind this fly is that with the bead on the back, it's gonna kick back, and that can be really enticing to a following fish. So you imagine the fish is pursuing the fly, suddenly it stops and it starts to fall back in the water, like a natural insect or a prey item, and that's when the fish will often take. So that's the idea behind it. When you stop retrieving, it kicks back and gives the fish an opportunity to take it. So anyway, on with the tying. And what I'm going to do next is add some peacock herald. I'm using Troutline's hand-selected peacock herald, and I want to take out three strands from the bottom of the packet. Now, once I've got the three strands, I want to remove the uppermost part of this because that's where Peacock Herald's at its weakest. So I'll catch it into my fingers and then just take them away. I don't want it snapping off as I'm bringing up my Herald. So I'll capture that in. I want to take it all the way to the bead and then I'm going to bring my thread all the way up to the top. Now, you'll notice that uh, I have left a little bit of space here and that's because at this point I'm going to cast off the green thread and I'm going to do that with my whip finish tool. You 
Now, I could easily have just kept the green thread on and made my head green, but on this occasion, I want to have a black thread. So I'm going to come in with some nano silk. This is at 12 volt, and as you can see, it's black. So I'll get a few turns just in behind the eye there. And then I'm going to get several wraps onto the hook. Then again, I can come in, remove my rat's tail. Now, bringing the peacock hair up, and even though I've got three strands here, which is quite strong, uh, I want to just clip it in with my hackle pliers. Now, what that allows me to do is avoid the point of the hook while I use the rotary function on my vise. And I'm just trying to get buffed up to that bead as close as I can. And then I'm going to bring it round, avoiding the hook point. I don't want to catch that hook point. With Herald, it is very fragile. And if you catch the hook point, it will ruin your day. So, like I said, I've not fished with this fly. It may be, well, a topic for another fishing video. But it certainly, the principle behind it uh, works for me. It, it certainly makes sense to me um, when you're retrieving the fly you want to have that kickback motion. Now, if you're not a fly tyer, and um, I don't know why you're watching the video, but uh, if you don't tie flies or you don't want to buy the stuff for it, um, Howard does a series of flies for Fool and Mill, and I believe that this, um, this particular fly is on the menu there, uh, if you wanted to just buy it. So I'm going to bring my green wire up and over the the herald and this is really just to give that some protection uh, I'm looking for around four turns on the rib and then I can finish up just on my side I want to get a couple of turns in over the wire rib and then a few turns in front and then I can simply helicopter that wire away I'm going to just come in with my thumb and forefinger, damp it down, slick everything back, and that's looking not too bad. So the Marabou uh, for this, I'm using some Nature Spirits. This is a Fish Hunter, fish hunter Spay Marabou. Um, it, I've got to say, it's not particularly good. Uh, I've, had to, I've had to come a long way up the feather to get some decent stuff. I need to... Um, put an order in with Dave Downey and get some proper marabou, this stuff's uh, and as you can see my fingers are a little bit black where where I've been um, tying a few of these what I want to do is take from my thumb to my knuckle uh, I don't want a particularly heavy wing on this and I'm going to just bring that all together and then I'm going to come up dress it up, I don't want uh, I want to try and include these really wispy, fibery bits and you just get a lot more movement out of them so I've brought that much of it over my waste basket I'm going to trim that away I'll damp down the edge just tidy up that slightly and then I can come in with my thread and start to build up the head Now I'm going to, I have planned to go to a small still water uh, later in the month and I might well let you know how well this performs. Uh, if this heat wave keeps up, <laughs> I'm not so sure anything will perform but uh, we'll see how we get on with the weather. So I've caught that into place. What I want to do next is just whip finish it. like so oops that's just snapped away unusual for the nano silk and then I'm going to come with my thumb and forefinger in my right hand and just tidy up that wing a little bit at the back you don't want it uh, too uniform we'll never cut marabou always uh, rip it away I'll just slick everything back out the way 
And on this occasion, I'm going to use a little bit of super glue just to finish the fly. Uh, you can use um, UV resin, you can use uh, varnish, whatever whatever your preference is. I kind of flick, flick between whatever's near to hand myself. Uh, I don't have a particular favourite. If the super glue comes before the Solaris, then that's what I'm using. But there we go. I uh, hope that's been of some use to you. I think it's certainly worth a try. Her doesn't trifle. If he's telling you that this fly works, I dare say it's a winner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.